was beautiful. I just, I thought this was, oh, I thought I was in a therapist's office. So oh, tell me teenage years, Jillian. It all started back in 1979, Riaz. Mm, yes. Cold winter day, December. December 30th? It's when it started. Yeah? Help me out. All right. <laughs> She's back. It's the Bachelor. Right. We're hanging with Jillian Harris. Okay, so we talked about the show uh, with Dawn earlier. Uh, the perspective must change. I mean, if we talk about The Bachelor for a second, Jason Mesnick, he got panned by critics for what he did. Mm -hmm. Do you almost have a new perspective of what he went through being in the driver's seat? Absolutely. Oh, absolutely. I mean, the decisions you have to make are so fast and they're so quick and you don't get to see a lot of the person's personality. You only get a certain amount of time with them. You don't get to see what we see, what mm -hmm. you guys see on TV. We don't get to see that. Um, but you know, with Jason, it's like, you know what? He's human. He made one mistake, and he wants the same thing that we all want. He wants to fall in love. He wants to get married. Unless it's over it, I'm over it. Now everybody can make fun of me on my season. <laughs> Focus is on you, especially a lot of fans uh, of City TV watching the show. Uh, family, what is the family's reaction to seeing you go through these guys? Well, my family is like unconditional love. It's kind of like you, Riaz. You know, they all take me no matter what happens. <laughs> but you're pretty confident, yeah. right? <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. So they, it's not my family I'm worried about because they will always, they have my back no matter what. You know, with the whole West thing or the Tanner P thing, they've always got my back. It's actually, I'm really, I always want to make Canada proud. I want to make the viewers proud. And what I've noticed throughout this whole process is I'm not perfect. And like any other girl, you know, I can see that I've chosen guys who are good guys, a lot of good guys, and a few bad guys. And I call it that pendulum. So I always worry, you know, do people really understand why I'm doing this or... I just want everybody to like me, you know. See, that isn't, that's a fascinating point because when you're in the public eye, you're never going to have 100% approval. I know. How, how, how do you deal with that? I don't know how I'm going to deal with it. You saw me. I was just lying out on the couch. <laughs> I need therapy. No, I think I have to understand that I signed up for this and everybody's entitled to their opinion. Mm -hmm. And I think the viewers know me by now. They know that I've got a big heart and that I want to find love and that I have a big energy and I'm attracted to different types of people. And in the end, if I do choose somebody, it's going to be somebody that treats me with 100% respect, that loves me, that is my best friend, and I'm not going to settle for anything less. So if you choose somebody. If I choose somebody. So we don't know yet. You don't know yet. Oh, the plot thickens week yeah. after week. Uh, I'm sure there's a lot of perks of being The Bachelorette. Of course, uh, you know, a lot of the attention. You get to go on these amazing dates. Mm -hmm. What is the toughest part? I think the toughest part is just making the decisions and all the responsibility of... It's like, for example, you guys saw last week on the two-on-one -on date with Mark and Mike. I know that Mike probably was the safer choice. He said all the right things. A lot of people so, were shocked about A that. lot of people were shocked about that. But at the end of my date with those two, I didn't know any more about Mike as a person. Where Mark, he didn't say all the right things, but he really opened up about who he was as a person, what he likes to do, what his past relationships were like, you know, what his parents and friends are like. And so at the end of the date, I knew Mike had said all these perfect things, but I, he was still just a character for me. Me, mm -hmm. where Mark was actually somebody that I grew to know and it goes right back to Wes as well you know Wes may no, makes no apologies and uh, for who he is he's really open he talks about himself and the experiences and life experiences that he goes through yeah there's some red flags there but at least I know him as a person where everybody else you know will just say the same things over and over and to me they're just a bachelor looking for love I don't really know who they are yeah well a, a lot so. of the viewers of the show want to actually get to know who Jillian Harris is so okay. we're going to seize the opportunity Sounds and it's time good. for a little speed dating okay. with Jillian Harris roll that music here we go oh, Lordy. the most popular questions from the fans of this show what number one what is the most important question a, man, a woman needs to ask a man on a first date I favorite hot dog topping, obviously. Still going with the mustard. Still going with the... Well, I don't know. Does that change? You know, it's fun. Asking the hot dog topping is good because you learn a little bit about the guy and it just loosens up the conversation. Okay. After that, it's like if he's close with his mom, if he's ready to fall in love, if he's ever cheated. Oh. And you tell the truth, guys. I want to know. No lying. No, no lying, John. Lying. What uh, is your ultimate deal breaker? Uh, ultimate deal breaker. I would say cheater, liar, somebody who's arrogant, close-minded, have to love animals and kids. Animals? Animals. Okay, favorite love song? <laughs> uh, I still go with Fishing in the Dark by the Nitty Gritty Dirt Band. I'm sticking right, with that okay. one. Uh, what's the better date movie, Friday the 13th or He's Just Not That Into You? Oh, Lord. I want to say Friday the 13th because then... But you know what? All guys are scared of horror movies. And then it's kind of... Not all of them. It's demasculating yeah, for hey, the guy. Yeah, you like them? them? Okay. And then He's Just Not That Into You is kind of depressing for a girl and it a guy is. to watch. Well, for a girl and a guy to watch because at the end of it, you're like... See, are you into is this me? how dating works? I was really disappointed with that movie as well. I'm with you on that. <laughs> Weirdest rumor you've read about yourself on the blogs? Weirdest rumor. Weirdest rumor. Um, I don't know. 
um, I mean that I have a big nose. That was kind of sad for me to see, but I do kind of have a big nose. So I have to deal with that one. Um, and probably, probably that, that I like the bad guys. I mean, that's one that people have to understand that through this show, there's 30 guys. And if you take a look at all the guys I've kept, you know, there's 90% good guys, 10% bad guys. Yeah. So that's kind of the one that I'm like, okay, guys, let's focus on the positive here. Okay, final question. Tough decisions you've made along the way. The best lesson you have learned about love? Um, that there are no guarantees and that no matter what, if you're wearing the pants, no matter whether you're the bachelorette or who you are, you know, you have to just be open and honest with yourself, but sometimes life just doesn't go your way. And when it doesn't, like last season, you just got to pick yourself back up and try to think of things positively and hopefully it'll come your way again. Well, it's nice to see you again. Welcome back to Vancouver. I know, I missed you guys so much. And I have to thank everybody so much for being such a huge support system for me. It's been so great being back home and I feel like back to myself again and I can just take a deep breath and relax. The journey continues. Yeah. Oh, I love you guys Lots of love too. for Jillian Harris. Oh. Every Monday night, City TV, 8 p.m. You can see her journey and her uh, quest for love. Quest for love. Thanks Thanks to more makeout and more crying. More makeouts. <gasps> more makeouts and more oh, crying. Wow, <laughs> sure, yes. Yeah. Oh, that's okay. I'll get over it. All right, let's take a break here. Rick with Savage Entertainment News coming up next. I think your nose looks great, by the way. Thank you. you and me.